guys we are back in it to win it what are we doing today we are in free code camp we're doing the html and css we are going to be doing exercises 51 to 60. so let's get started we're going to override class decorations by styling id attributes so uh give your h1 element the id of orange text so we have our class here and we want to say give it the id is equal to orange dash text. So we need to create our CSS for it. So we'll do it dot orange dash text. And uh, your H1 element should be orange. So we want to set color to orange. Let's go ahead and run that. Okay. No? Hmm. So our name is correct. Ooh. I forgot we're using IDs, so it looks like we have to use the pound. So when we're using the ideas, we, IDs, we have to use the pound. So it looks like that IDs override the classes. And there we go. So give your H1 element the inline style of color white. So let's just say, all right, uh, pink text, blah, blah, blah. So we want to change that to white. And bam. Inline style of white. Oh. They want us to do inline. Whoops. Okay, so uh, inline styling is done like this. You declare style. And you set it equal to... Um, style is equal to... And then what do we want to do? You just type the CSS out. So color, white, semicolon. There we go. Cool. Oh, I've never even used this list. All right, so apparently we can just add important after this parameter, and no matter what comes next, this will always be what it does. And you can see right there, it overrides it. Cool. There's something new, exclamation point important. This is pretty, pretty all right. Let's see here. Use hex code for the color black instead of the color word black. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of, say you want a very specific color, you can just go and like click on the color or experiment and it'll give you a hex code. So they have pre-programmed one, basic ones, but you can also, it's gonna be six characters like this, do it like this to get, in this case it's the same as black, but gives you a lot more diversity. All right, so we want to set the bo the background color to white. So six Fs for white, six zeros for, and don't forget the hashtag as well. And use text for black, for example. Did I do that? Cool. So I think that was five. Was that five? Let me see. I usually knock out about one a minute. We're at 420. So let's say that's four. So give your element, this is five. Give your body element the background color of red. All right, so what is the background color of red? It's FF0000. If you're looking where I'm getting this from, just uh, the highlighted portion. So we're going to change the background color to red. and Cool. So we're going to say that's five or six. I'm very like neurotic about making sure I only do ten. Uh, so let's see here. Give your body element the background color of green. Again, we're just changing the background color. So 00FF. Zero, zero. And there it is. 
that green. So that's seven. I think. I give your body elements back on color blue. I think at this point we get it. But so that's eight. And let's go ahead and give the background color of orange. FFA 500. That's actually a pretty nice orange. Nine. And let's go ahead and go to our map real quick and check to make sure uh, we're on point with our 10 tasks today. So ch 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 look at that. We're almost done, man. We're blowing through this. So, we're, yeah, we're on our last one right now. So we want to change it to uh, gray. Uh instead of writing gray it's 8080 and bam there we go so we did a little bit of uh a little bit of um css just kind of repeating all these colors those are kind of the primary ones i guess we need to know and then next we're going to using rgb and then we're f we're done with this html and css portion that's going to go relatively quick as well so look forward to the responsive design with Bootstrap. This is very important if you're just getting started with web design. It's like this stuff, you basically should already know, HTML and CSS. And here is kind of the newer stuff that is, you know, makes your phone, makes the browser and your website adjust to regardless what device you're on, you know, phone, tablet, whatever. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, questions, comments, concerns, and anything constructive is always appreciated. I love the comments. They keep me going. And I'll see you in the next video. That was very hypey. Oh, how do I? My button's not stopping it. Oh, my God. I just want to say thanks for... um the likes and the comments letting me know if I'm doing good. I'm learning. Um, hopefully you're learning still. This is a field we all need to be learning in. And if I'm ever if I ever misrepresent something, because I'm like I said, I'm learning. Let me know. And if the videos you find them helpful, let me know. That that really uh, goes a long way. So I'll see you guys as always in the next video.